Welcome to Architect Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. What are the benefits of using container in an environment? So what are the benefits uh, that we get whenever we are going for an approach where we are using containers like Docker in our system? So container is an OS level virtualization of software. So it's like, you know, higher than the VM as of now. So earlier version was we were using virtual machines, VMs, but nowadays containers are very popular, especially in the Docker world. So in this, what we do is that we deliver the whole software in a package called container. And uh, if you see this example here in a container, we have Tomcat, Java, Debian, like all other things are there. So our software as well as everything is there in that container. So primary thing is that containers are isolated from one another and they bundle their own software libraries and configuration files. So in such a case, it's much easier. Like as a developer, whatever you are building with the kind of OS level usage, you send that whole thing in a container all the way to production. So due to this, you have very less uh, chances of errors because of like production system changes. So whatever you are preparing, exactly same thing is going all the way to the production. So you are responsible for bundling everything together. So it makes your process or it makes your like you know system more predictable and like it makes it more efficient also. So that way containers have a lot of benefits. And since they are isolated, then how do they communicate? They communicate through well-defined channels. So there are ways by which they can communicate to each other. But in general, one container is isolated from another container. And then all containers, they can be run by a single operating system kernel. And due to this, they use fewer resources than virtual machines. So on a like, you know, the same nodes, you can have multiple containers. So all those containers will be run by same operating system, same host machine, but they will be like all independent things that way they will use much lesser resources than the virtual machines so there is another big advantage of containers compared to uh, virtual machines and then comes portability portability is again a very important concept in the modern world of software design like if you know java is a highly portable language same way containers also make it more portable and they provide this benefit so that we can move between different platforms like i mean if you're on windows mac or linux you can like you know move between clouds and different data centers different other infrastructure that way you get a lot of portability you don't need to start upgrading your system just because you're moving from one system to another so it is also considered as write once and run everywhere so that is the uh, main uh, benefit of containers that you increase the portability of your overall system. Efficiency, this is again benefit because containerization uses less resources in virtual machine, so they are more efficient. We get higher efficiency from same hardware resources. We get better utilization of those compute resources in containerization than the VMs. So that way containers are also very efficient and they save a lot of costs. Agile, this is again a side effect. Uh, basically in container process, since developers are uh, able to develop from their own system everything. So it's very easy to integrate their deliverables with any kind of environment. So this leads to agile development and you can deploy in any environment and get the same results. So that is again a good benefit like in, in these cases of CI CD, continuous integration and continuous deployment. If you have a container image, it works like you know smoothly on any environment. So that way you get agile and like very fast development with containers. Faster, okay. The speed of delivery also increases, like if you are delivering certain features. So since whatever the developer is creating goes all the way to the deploy, like production deployment it reduces the time it takes uh, for delivering things. So especially with microservices architecture, developers can develop uh, features in much shorter life cycles and it helps in like you know, uh, time to market 
reduces. So if some business uh, people come up with some feature and if we're using containers and uh, microservices, we can build those features much faster and take it to the production. Rather than the earlier world, we will build and like deploy the monolith and like use VMs, provision the system. That way it was much slower. But now with containers, it's much faster. Another benefit of containers is security since containers are isolated and they are isolated from the host system. So the applications are more secure. So you know your system is working within that container. So that way it improves the overall security of your system. And startup time, this is uh, again an, another benefit of containers that since containers are very quick because they use lesser resources than the boot time, so it's easier to scale them and then like startup time is less. So whenever there's a high load, you can like spin up more containers and that way your service will be able to handle a lot of load very fast. So it's much easier to scale up, scale down using containers. All right, that's all on the benefits of container from us. And if you still have any question, do post your questions in comments. And also will be happy to have your feedback. Thank you everyone. Thanks for listening. And do subscribe to this channel for more questions on system design and architecture.